Hey guys, it's uh, the Pokemon Battler, Dark and Fierce, and I got a battle against DTHP's Dash Jolt, and um, it's pretty good. I actually decided to use a new team, and it's pretty interesting. Um, uh, the Miss Magus is supposed to be a Rotom form, but it's Heart Gold, so I really don't know how to, so I just have to change it to Platinum. And um, it's a pretty creative team, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh yeah, and happy belated... Halloween. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so it leads off with his blue snake and I lead off with my Imaginatio because um I can and I just go for the spore because this is a lead smear goal that um is just leady and this is somewhat of an entry it is pretty much an entry hazard team. It's pretty fun, it's pretty stoly, but um it's a lot of fun. I set up some stuff frogs while he goes for the meditate and I realized that it was a speed tie, I think. No, lies. Um, I set up stuff Rocks on the switch to Electivire, and then I set up Spikes, and while he meditates, and then he goes for the Thunder Punch, activating my Sash, and I do something stupid and go for the Taunt. Um, I switch out into Hariyama, um, because it is my physical wall in this team, and it has Thick Fat, and thank God he went for the Fire Punch, and that has the Fire Move, so it doesn't do all that much. Um... He goes into his blue snake, and that takes 25% of damage. Now, I only have one layer of spikes and one and uh, stealth rock. Um, but with that, I could still wreck a lot of havoc in this team. So, I go for, for the force palm, because um, I really needed to take out that... What was it? That electivire, because I really didn't have much to deal with. So, I go for the stone edge. Um, and the blue snake, it actually almost dies, but thanks to the intimidate, it actually lives. Um... I see that this doesn't have whirlwind, so I feel safe going for. Um, it doesn't have leftovers, so I feel safe going for the whirlwind, knowing that it will die on the switch in, and just to scatter out his team and uh, get more spikes and stuff rock damage. Now it goes into a Caesar, so I realize, hmm, interesting. Um, turns out to be Bandit, and I just whirlwind it away to see what that Caesar does. Um, he switches into Gyarados for um, you know, Death Otter. And he goes into a queen draw. I kind of predicted this to be special, but I really didn't care. I decided to stay in and go for the whirlwind. And he misses the Draco Meteor. I'm pretty sure Eat My Dog would have lived, but um, it actually did help a lot. Now, um, I figure this Weaver has a sash because of the fact of the move that he's going to do next. Um, but yeah, he goes for a taunt, and I decide to go for the Force Palm, predicting his taunt or something. Or just getting rid of the Weavile, and Frosty dies. So, bad Weavile. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still sick. Anyway, um, he's going to go out into Queen Draw, and I go into Drapion. And look at that. With only a layer of Stealth Rocks and Spikes, it already took like half damage. Anyways, no, I go into Smeargle as a uh, Death Fodder. And then I go into Queen Draw, figuring this thing was Specs or something. But um, it's not Specs. I actually do outspeed, go for the Toxic Spikes. He goes for the Hidden Power. I'm not exactly sure what Hidden Power that is, but it hits me for super effective. Um... Just about half. Not even. It looks like a 3 hit KO. Anyway, so I set up my second layer of Toxic Spikes. And he's gonna, he's gonna go for the Draco Meteor. And fortunately, because Heartless is a special wall, I am able to live. And I got my two layer of Toxic Spikes up. My layer of Spikes and a lay and my Stuff Rocks up. Um, and I go for the rest here. And he was just like, fucking A. Um, because, um... Because I restored all that HP and he's at negative 2 special attack. So his hidden power looks like to be uh, like an 8 hit KO after leftovers. Um, he's pretty much forced to switch out. I decide to burn a t uh, turn of sleep with um with my sleep talk. Because this is my rest sleep talk in Drapion. Um, he goes into Hugo or Jugo. I don't know. And um, <laughs> I'm going to go for the sleep talk. And it goes for Toxic Spice. But that fails. Because I already have two layers up. Um, I'm gonna switch out into, uh, I'm gonna switch out into Mustard, predicting him to be a Dragon Dancing one for some reason, I don't know why, um, this isn't supposed to be a Mustard, it's supposed to be a Rotom Heat, um, for, you know, Rapid Spin blocking, yeah, cause this is an Entry Hazard team, and, um, I figured he had the Crunch, but I actually stayed instead of going into Skarmory, because I wanted Skarmory to be at full HP, and I just wanted more, um, what do they call it? Um, poison damage because I can't really stop this uh, Tyranitar except for the Toxic. Um, so I'm going to go into Annoying and I'm going to Protect to see what he does. And he goes for the Fire Blast. Um, now seeing the Fire Blast, I actually feel safe going into um, yeah, Hariyama for the Thick Fat. But he goes for the Stone Edge and it ends up missing, so whatever. Um, Hariyama is just really good. Look at it. It's such a beast. I didn't. I never thought Hariyama was so good. 
I guess, I guess, um, it really is. Anyway, so he goes into Queendra, and after the t- poison and, um, the stuff rock and spikes, it's really not gonna live for many more turns, so I just decided to stole it out and go into Heartless while he goes into the, for the Draco Meteor. Um, the Draco Meteor <coughs> does a lot of damage, but, you know, Heartless actually takes that rather well and lives. Actually, he doesn't take that rather well. He takes that decently. And, um, but he, nonetheless, he lives. And I actually stay in you know i don't really care about the score i just want to you know be pro with this team and i go for the sleep talk and i go for the crunch and that queen dread die so good job heartless um i'm still asleep sandstorm is raging leftovers i'd figure i'd rest next turn if i'm faster than whatever but he goes into a caesar and he's obviously gonna go for the bullet punch because that's or the u-turn never mind <laughs> he actually outspeeds me um which is which isn't that good but whatever um, he's gonna go for the Electivire, which, uh, is badly poisoned, and Stealth Rock and Spikes damage is withering it down, and with that, it's under half health, and it has Life Over, plus the Sandstorm, so, holy moly, this Electivire is probably gonna die next turn. Um, I go into Hariyama, and, um, I figure I could take a Thunder Punch rather nicely, I actually do, I go for the Whirlwind, because I need to get as much damage on that Caesar as I can. Seeing as that I really can't hurt it with um, my other members except for Hariyama. And um, it takes some sandstorm damage. And I believe he goes for the superpower trying to get in as much damage as he can. But um, Hariyama is a defensive monster and it actually takes it rather well. And it's going to die to a force bomb. Um, so his Retallic Caesar dies. And um, now all he has is Electivire which is going to die after the stuff rock and the spikes and the sandstorm and the poison and the life orb look at that all that damage ah so good um my other member of the team is clefable uh yeah skarmory is a beast that's all i could say um good game dt hp's dash joel uh, rate comment subscribe and sorry for my little mousey going all over the place